my gosh! Oh, you all right? Oh my god, it is really bad! How's it going? I'm Coyote Peterson from the Brave Wilderness YouTube channel, and today we're going to talk about 10 of our most popular videos. Ah! I got some questions here from the audience. Let's see if I can give you some good answers. Number one on our list, bloodworms. Will they bite? Whoa, there it goes again. Oh, there it is! Whoa. Ugh. What's it doing? It's puking all over me. Well, first of all, this episode was incredibly difficult to produce because the day that we showed up to film it, it was pouring rain. And you know what makes looking for worms in the mud more difficult? Rain. More rain means more mud. Blood worming on the coast of Maine. Blood, oh, there's a got one. You got one? Got one. See my blood worming song. Brought him up in the mud. As for the question whether or not they will bite, Oh. Yay! Did it bite you? He got me! <laughs> I got that! He got me! I felt it! It was a little pinch! Yeah, they bite, and this episode was wildly entertaining. <laughs> my heart's racing! Number two, stung by a bullet ant. One of my favorites. Why was this episode significant to the channel? Well, that's a great question. I would say it's significant because at that point, it was the pinnacle of the most painful insect sting in the insect kingdom. I'd already been stung by the tarantula hawk and the velvet ant, and we were leading up to the bullet ant. So it was a huge one for the channel. One, two, oh my gosh, this is it, three. It's stuck in my arm! Oh! Oh, the stinger is stuck in my arm! Look at that! Oh! Okay, it's off, it's off, it's off! Oh my gosh! But since that time, I've also been stung by the giant hornet and the executioner wasp, which I would say did dethrone the bullet ant as the most painful sting in the world. Oh my god, it is really bad! Number three, horseshoe crabs and whether or not they sting. Let's see. Oh, it's strong! Look at that! Wow! What an look alien. at its tail going. Here, back up a little bit so I'm not sitting in the water. Ooh, look at that! Well, the horseshoe crab, lo and behold, does not sting. In fact, they don't bite and they don't sting. They're non-venomous, and while they may be creepy looking alien type creatures, you have absolutely nothing to fear if you come across a horseshoe crab in the wild. Even despite the fact that they have that long, spiky tail, which looks like a stinger, but as we proved in that video, truly is not. All right, let's let her back off into the ocean. Number four, bite of the king. Working in tandem with the Reserve Protection Agency and a team of field veterinarians, today's goal is to safely tranquilize and collect biometric data from these predatory cats. This one was all about lions on the African savanna. And the question that I have here is, did the lion bite you? Ready? Yeah. No guys, the lion did not bite me and I'm never going to be bitten by a lion but I did get to work with a really cool veterinarian team. We tranquilized an entire pride of lions and I got to get up close with these giant predators. That is unbelievable right there. This is the closest I have ever been to a wild apex predator of this size. Oh, you can feel it breathing. Oh, beautiful animal. Here's something you probably didn't know. Lions smell just like the savanna, which is pretty much sand and grass. So that was pretty cool. Number five, it's huge, giant black slug. And the question, is this slug really a giant? Come on, come on, come on. Right over here, guys, it's huge. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that thing. The answer to that is yes, absolutely. The giant black sea slug is the largest slug species in the world and they are incredibly slimy to boot. Wow, that thing is absolutely massive. And it is so unbelievably slippery. It's actually really hard to hold on to it. And my hands and arms right now are covered in a slippery mucus. Number six, Cottonmouth versus Water Snake. This was one of my favorite episodes. Uh, it's done exceptionally well, considering it was just two snakes on camera. And the question is, was this video a challenge to produce? And the answer to that question is yes, it actually was. Check that out. That 
is a broad-banded water snake. It's because working with a venomous snake species alongside a non-venomous snake species definitely ups that level of danger. Definitely got my thumb. A bite from this one, and I'm gonna be just fine. But the other snake we're looking for, the water moccasin, if that had tagged my thumb, we wouldn't be getting shots. We'd be on our way to the hospital. So we had to be incredibly careful, especially when we were getting some of those shots of the snakes compared side by side. So yeah, that one was difficult to produce. Cool, look at that. A little that. nervous? A little bit. <laughs> Number seven, ocelot attack. This is probably one of our most famous episodes. I'm Coyote Peterson, and this is an ocelot. Hi, buddy. Ah. And here's our question. Where does this rank on your all-time favorite animal encounters? I've had a lot of them over the years, but the ocelot, I always go back to as being that one incredible moment that I never expected to happen. Boom, an ocelot just zooms right past me. Now let me see if I can get her back. She likes my snake stick. Wait for this. Oh, there she is. If you're lucky enough to see an ocelot in the wild, it may be for just a fleeting moment, but to have an ocelot come into a scene and actually pal around with you, definitely was an experience I'm never going to forget. So on the all-time rankings, I would probably put that up there in my top three to five of all time. And she is just loving me right now. You are just the most adorable thing I think I've ever met. Number eight, deadliest job in America, snake milker. I think I just went to the bathroom in my pants a little bit. Holy cow, look at the size of that snake. Wow, yeah. the most dangerous job in the United States right here, folks. Was I nervous? Now this is the episode where we work with the Reptile Discovery Center in Deland, Florida. Frequently we handle 50 to 100 snakes a day, uh, typically four or five days a week. And probably most importantly, a number of these venoms are produced for the antivenoms, both here in North America and around the world. Carl is an absolute expert when it comes to working with venomous snakes. He is as cool and as collected as you could possibly be. And he has to be considering the danger level of his job, but he takes calculated efforts to make sure that he is completely safe during this process. As for my level of nervousness, yeah, I was definitely nervous getting hands on with those venomous snakes, but I was in good hands working alongside Carl. Really good, let's see if she'll give us a shot here. There she goes. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. You can feel the, the power in the whole body when they bite down like that. Oh yeah. There she goes Holy again. Holy Nice, good. Okay, number nine, incredible octopus catch. Ready? There it is right there, there it is, look at that! How tough is it to catch an octopus? Very tough. Octopus are incredibly slimy, incredibly fast, and exceptionally well camouflaged in the environment. I've seen a number of octopus that I've not been able to catch, and the few that I have been successful in getting in front of the camera were definitely a challenge. Hopefully not take a bite, and into the cube. Yes! Woo! Yes! Dude, that is our first octopus of Beyond the Tide. So, if you manage to head out into the tide pools and you see an octopus, it's always best to admire them from a safe distance, but if you do try to get hands on, make sure that you are not bitten, because remember, all octopi are venomous. Number 10, last but not least, Wolverine face off. Now, press down. Uh, I'll tell you when to stop. Keep going, oh keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, okay, that's yeah, good, that's well, good. Yeah, well, gee, many Christmas. Wow, those I canines would... are unbelievably sharp. Look at the indentation that that put into my hand. And the question that lines up with this episode is, was this your favorite video of all time? Well, to be honest, it's tough to ever pick a favorite video. But for me, getting up close with the Wolverine was one of my most meaningful experiences. This is my favorite mammal in the world. We traveled all the way to Alaska to work at Steve Kroeschel's Wildlife Sanctuary to get up close with this muscle. Let's just let it be natural. Trust me, just let me let the Wolverine come up to me. And if I had to pick a favorite child, yes, I would say that Wolverine Face Off is my favorite episode that we have ever produced, and it's truly an experience I will never forget. Very smart. He's lost interest. Hi. All right, we're done. We're, no, 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 he's okay. No, he's no, okay. no, 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 no. We got meat and you. I need you to, to go this way. Go this way. Okay, I'll get behind the meat. 
Okay, open that door. <laughs> that has to be the coolest thing that I've ever done while hosting an animal show. My heart is racing and it was absolutely unbelievable. Hi, this is Craig Glendy, Editor-in-Chief at Guinness World Records. The incredible footage you've just seen there has earned Coyote Peterson and the team at Brave Wilderness a new Guinness World Records certificate for the most subscribers to an animal channel on YouTube. So congratulations guys, with 18.2 million subscribers, you are officially amazing. The most subscribers for an animal channel on YouTube. How cool is that? 18.2 million subscribers and counting. While I am certainly honored to be holding this Guinness World Record certificate, it truly is the audience that has helped us reach this incredible milestone. We could not have done it without the amazing Coyote Pack. Now we know that this is all for animals, education, and conservation. And I look forward to bringing you guys some incredible content in the years to come. But for now, let's celebrate this incredible achievement. We're gonna put this plaque up on the wall here in the Brave Wilderness office, and then head back out into the wild to get some more animal videos. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see ya on the next adventure.